Well, hello everyone, here, Dylan here with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and this one's on the Hogwarts Room of Requirement, well, latest version, of course. So, on the front of the large box here, we would have the LEGO Harry Potter logos and Wizarding World logo, and same border that we've been seeing since uh, 2021, summer 2021, of course, so, and picture of the set in positioning, and all the minifigs included, and Recommended ages 8 and up, set number uh, 76413, has 587 pieces. And onto the back of the box, which do have the whole set in a different position, and how to separate the Fiend Fire, of course, and all the features of it, and Lego logo again, and there. <coughs> and now onto the instruction manual, which the kind of plain rendering cover thing again, which like we've seen since last summer, of course. Have add of how Lego's turning over to paper bags, and also add for the builder app, of course. And then how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then advertisement of all the sets of this wave, which I have previously reviewed, of course. And then last building steps, however, of course. First of which we have an all new exclusive variant of Harry Potter himself, of course, like with the open jacket, and also the hair piece that we has and hair or hair piece and face printing, same as we had in the last couple years, of course. And also we have Hermione Granger, of which also exclusive and with with exclusive prints as well. And of course, with the open blue jacket and also a pink sweatshirt underneath, since it's what she has in this uh, film, Deathly Hollows, of course, but also like she kind of had in the Lego Dimension and a uh, fun pack in 2017 as well. And but of course, the hair piece updated just for this one, of course. And next to which is Draco Malfoy, which kind of the same as he had was in the uh, Slytherin banner set of this current wave, so not much to say there. And also we have the next one is Blaze Zabini, of course, also from the Slytherin banner set. But however, this was an exclusive variant, like does come with the traditional Hogwarts student outfit with the Slytherin colored tie, of course. And also, of all, who's all new and exclusive to this set is Great Lady, who of course has. With the like gray and white kind of coloring to her, just like we had with the 2018 Nearly Headless Nick and of course Moaning Myrtle, of course. And also nice to see that her piece in the a new gray color, which which can definitely be used with update Gandalf the Gray minifigs, of course. And also do get to the recent Cornish Pixie set, which. Like, which of course also came in the uh, Ravenclaw banner set of this wave, and of course the 2021 uh, Chamber of Secrets set, but also nice to have, and of course this set the like middle range of those two. But yeah. And that's on the back side of which. So you see all their double side faces and back torso printing. And of course, Harry and Hermione, so, or just Hermione, kind of does have the pink hook piece stick now. Very nice. And of course, good back torso printing on all of them. And of course, a more stern look on Grey Lady and Harry, of course. But yeah. And 
that's about it with the guinea pig selection. And now onto the feed fire. Uh, which kind of a simple small build today. But although from first glance you can see have the same exact headpiece or headpiece as we had with the 2021 Basilisk in the Chamber of Secrets set, but just in plain orange. Which nice to see there. Although it would have been nice if could have had some like printing on it in like flame texturing to it. But as is still fair enough. And as do you got some kind of similar sections on these two bits with the long flame and small flames too. And also those like curved plate or curved kind of pieces, but in orange, nice to see. And also in Max Eye, which do you have the recent balloon bottom piece in orange, nice to see there, and a, a long flame piece as well. And you can, but of course, you can like uh, split apart in different sections, which, which of course, I'll show a bit later. And also, as you can see, those do have these uh, bottom kind of pieces, but in translucent orange, nice to see there, but yeah. And there is also a bit of posability with this build, honestly, kind of, of course. Kind of like, like we had with the Basilisk, of course, but yeah. And that's about it with that. And now, on to the large room of requirement itself. Which, from first glance, this way is quite tall for how it is. Well, for the $50 price point it is, this is which quite good for how it is. And of course, to get plenty of good hauling space in there. And of course, quite a whole lot different than the uh, 2020 one of it for that. Since, of course, this being the newer awkward system instead of the 2018 through 20 style, of which, of course, So like for this front part, oh, which as you can see, which is, which has one feature where you can like take these two bits and slide them open and get the actual doors for that, which you can open up and walk inside of course. So always to help keep it hidden, of course. And of course, as you see, made of various bricks for that, with the ring for bricks. So as just regular uh, tan bits like the like most like all Hogwarts sets kind of include and have plenty of like dark gray and sand green kind of mixed in together like there's a bit of moss going on okay. and also we get quite a lot of uh, those kind of pieces, but in tan, nice to see there, and also a round plate holding a few uh, tiny flame pieces, like obviously representing the nighttime torches of that. We also do get one of those Chima cloth pieces, but just acting as like the gargoyle like detailing, oh, which nice to see there, and also do get a little fence railing piece, but one of those other kinds, but in dark brown, also on two bits of which, so, of which, nice to see here, of course. And also, do get a couple of the Nexa Knights shield pieces, but in, but in light gray with the Hogwarts uh, logo on it. And also for these two top bits, which, I, which actually I'm kind of, I'm going to go over later, which you can like pop box, like some of the recent ones. And of course, they're sitting on a few jumpers and jagged slopes, which kind of represent, represent, reminiscent of the earlier uh, Hogwarts sets, of course, or, or just the very first ones from 2001 to 3, of course. And, and also, like the uh, Polyjuice Potion Mistake two years ago and a couple other sets, where you can like pop this part off and of course swivel it open to allow a bit of extra root for, so, for various things. And 
I guess it's in like quite a bunch of miscellaneous stuff for that fifth. Since of course this being for being based upon Dusty Hollow was and of course this whole sequence in the movie where there was a lot of this miscellaneous stuff going on. So like this one side of which do have a couple of and of course a lot of which is just on traditional jumpers, of course. Like this one section, which is on extra long jumper bit, and also do get these two display kind of cases. That and this one with a uh, with a, a little uh, glass in there, of course. But in trans orange, nice to see there. This little stack of which, which a lot of which is on a single stud. And of course, this which probably represents some stack of crates, and also a little chair on top, and also a little clear piece holding a little tiara piece in silver. Kind of interesting to see there. And also, do you get this little extra build that representing a mini record player? For that, and in the middle is one of those classic door pieces, and also these archway kind of pieces as well. But they're all stickers, so a lot of stickers in this set. For that. And also, do you get one lightish brown and dark brown broom pieces? Since, of course, in this whole sequence, they would use brooms to fly out from the fires. And uh, for this side of which, another display, but with a uh, gold chalice in there, of course. And also another uh, jumper on top of a jumper, which was one of those little archway pieces with the classic uh, castle helmet piece and also a telescope piece with the recent candle on it. And also this other build, which just a regular a two by four brick like in black for that, and also a little uh, cabinet kind of bit and a crate on top, which pop that off, and it's just a classic tooth piece on there. As for this upper, we go a little up a bit more, and do you have? And we have those like like rigid uh, round brick pieces, which nice to see here in tan. You know, that since of course representing the many columns in this kind of room build. And, and also, if, if you notice, there's like some of the like a uh, whole technical bricks on there. Since of course, which is where you put the little bits of the fiend fire on to since representing it uh, flaming around the room of course even though those tiny bits can kind of get stuck in there but also now to mention it on the rough, do get a little a one by two by two brick that has a little sticker of what must be a little phoenix on it. But then on the side adjacent to that is a little sticker piece of a Cornish pixie. So at least this can kind of count as the second Cornish pixie of this set, of course. I pop this on and nice and stable all together again. And also, uh, and of course, you have a lot of the uh, light gray uh, kind of uh, technical bricks both on there on that side and also on both sides of this. Since, of course, to attach to other Hogwarts sections. For that, and also if you wonder what these clear uh, bar pieces are for, is just so minifigs can, which, which can 
I'm going to hold on to them, as well as with the recent, with the broom pieces that were hidden in there. So, which give the effect, illusion of them flying around on the brooms, of course. So that's about it for this section. And also, for the two rooftop sections, so you get this one, which, which is kind of similar to what we've had with some of the recent sets, like Chamber Secrets and things. And, and of course, still staying green, like the original 2001 and 2 Hogwarts sets, of course. And also, has the, that little guard railing kind of, uh, kind of plate to there. And also this little archway to there. And also, like the Chamber Secrets and Fluffy Encounter sets, have this one that's just with cylinders, and also that uh, drill piece, but used quite well in the Sangree for that. But at least, I would still find fair for as is, but yeah. And on to the other top section, which is a little more interesting, which of course does have. So like connectability on both sides, and also another another couple of those uh, pieces in tan for that. And those classic ca cla or, yeah, castle window pieces in tan, of course. But also interesting thing with this one. Well, you know, turn around and you get little sink like build in there. And also these large archway pieces in town. As for this one side of which you get this one little mini build of which with those like extra fence pieces and dark tan and also a large side angling piece in in regular tan with a sticker on it and also those couple of uh, cone pieces above of course. But of course, can like uh, detach from there and on. And if knows it was on a single Technic pin that was on there, and also knows those couple extra uh, knocked kind of brick kind of plates there, they which kind of hook into that spot there. But also, although, you, but whereas you can like take that off and put it on the other side and can plop onto the other side of it. Oh, which kind of thoughtful little add-on build to that. And also this roof part also quite can detach and also sitting on four studs as well. Oh, actually it's in two separate kind of sections. Get a regular uh, 4x8 plate with those little uh, greebly fence pieces, of course. And as for this roof section, just two of the large canopy cone pieces again, and also from the back side of which there's this little scroll like build to it. And of course, on a traditional little, uh, curved slope with a sticker on it, but at least the build of which quite good for how it is, but yeah. Like plop it back on to there. There this. And then plop it all back on. I think this is which a uh, quite good, quite good set for how it is. Like you get a quite tall tower-like build to add to your Hogwarts display, of course, and also 
nice to see a, an interesting selection of mini figs and also good to see a build of the fiend or or the fiend fire or uh, which included which looks really good for how it is but although i think it could have had a few extra pieces added to it but at least still kind of fair as is and of course this was quite the improvement over the the origin of the 2020 version of the Room of Requirement set, since even though this is which for Deathly Hollows, for that, but of course as is, but how this is still quite good for how it is. Although it would be nice if there could have been some other uh, fire flame pieces, since since of course this whole sequence in the movie has a lot of fire going on for that. And also, it would be nice that there were a couple more broom pieces, so everybody can have the brooms to fly with, it, fly on to escape the fires, of course. But whereas, and also for the size that it is, for the price point, quite good for how it is. Which, although it kind of feels like a set from like uh, 2005 and six, where you got something quite large for the uh, price point of 40, 50 dollars, of course. But although, but it's still kind of still nice to see here. But yeah, and although the top parts of it kind of similar to the previous uh, Hogwarts set builds, but at least they, but at least one side, one that has a side bit, of which, which quite nice to something quite nice to see something new and different with that. But yeah. And so now, if any of you still have this, or, or pardon me. And so now, if you are looking to get this set to add to your uh, Hogwarts Discord's uh, range of which, well, definitely pick this set up. And if you are looking to have some bit of Deathly Hollows mentioning in your display, also pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.